Okay, in this video we are going to take a look at how you could record a video of yourself on your Chromebook and then ultimately share it with other people via Google Drive. So let's take a look here at how we do that. The first thing you're going to need to do is have access to a Chromebook and that Chromebook is going to have to have a webcam. The next thing you need to do is sign in. So once you sign in you should see a screen very similar to mine and although it may look a little different, maybe different background or a different layout, for the most part they're going to look the same. So we're going to start by finding the application that allows us to do that video recording. So we're going to go down here to the launcher and what that's going to allow us to do is to launch an application that resides on our Chromebook. Now the nice thing is we have a native application on the Chromebook called the camera and if it doesn't pop up as one of the applications that you've recently used, you can go ahead and search for it. So just type camera and you're going to find it pop up there. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then when you open that up, ah, there you go. You are going to see a camera and most likely a picture of yourself. Uh, so hopefully you look a little bit better than I do on screen uh, because you got to look at yourself for a little while. All right, so here's the camera app, and what it's going to allow us to do is to record a number of different things. You can take photos, and you can take videos, and there's some other things that you can do with it as well. We're just going to cover the videos for now. So over on the right-hand side, you're going to see, maybe you can see it based on uh, what you're in, what you have in the background over right there there's a link for video so we're gonna head and click that and then we will see that I actually like that I like being able to do that there we have an icon right there that's going to allow us to record and so when you are ready you can go ahead and click that button and then you're recording so I'm actually recording this right now and you can say whatever you want whatever deliver whatever message you are trying to do uh, if you have something in the background and you want to maybe draw something you could do that too just realize that the webcam on your Chromebook is probably not the greatest camera in the world so the people that are actually watching the video may not be able to see what's going on behind you but you could probably see all the mess that I have on my shelves with no problem but if you're drawing on the board and you're far away just keep in mind that people may not be able to see it all that well but hey give it a try if you want to when you are done with your video obviously you're just gonna click stop and that's gonna stop the recording you will see a little thumbnail at the bottom. let's see right there at the bottom of the screen that's just going to be a thumbnail of the video that you just created and you can go ahead and click that and that's gonna allow you to navigate through oh my that's quite a face to have up there. All right, so that's going to allow you to navigate through all of the different videos that you have there. I'm just going to close that because I don't like looking at that. Now, once you have the video perfect the way you want it, you can go ahead and close the camera app, especially because I don't want to keep looking at myself. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this to our Google Drive. So right now the file is on the Chromebook itself. And that's not a problem except for the fact that in many cases people use different Chromebooks throughout the day. So you may have one in a cart and you recorded a video on it. Uh, if you don't put that in your Google Drive you may not be able to find that video later on. So it's always a good idea once you've recorded something to make sure you transfer it to your Google Drive right away just so you don't lose it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to Launcher again and this time we're going to find an application called files so I'll just type files and there it is and when I launch that I will get a list of all the files that are on the Chromebook right now in addition to that I'm also going to see a link to my Google Drive so down here at the bottom I see a link to my Google Drive and then at the top are all the files on the computer. Now the question is where are the video files that I recorded? Well you can find them in a couple different places but most likely they're going to be in downloads so if you click downloads you'll see a list of all the files that you have downloaded uh, but that's going to include anything you downloaded off the web so any any PDFs or anything else like that is going to appear in there. You could also use this videos link which is going to limit uh, those files to just the videos that you recorded and so you can see that I have my video recorded right here. Now one of the things to note about the video format that Google is using at the present is that it's an MKV file format. Now I don't want to get overly technical but it is important to note that some people may not be able to view that particular video file format and for those people I do have have a little tip that you can send them uh, just in case they have some trouble but for the most part if we're watching this through Google 
in any type of Google platform, you shouldn't have too much of a problem because Google's really going to make sure that that file is viewable by most people. But what we need to do now is we need to copy this into our Google Drive. We need to make sure that we get it in there. So to copy it from here to the Google Drive, you, you have a couple different options. You can try the click and drag method. So there you could go ahead and do that and it will throw it right there in the root of your Google Drive. So if I go to the Google Drive, there's my file. It's right there. Now if you don't prefer that method, if you like the copy paste method, you can do that too. You can select the file and then you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is control C. Or if you like the right click option and uh, you have a mouse, go ahead and use the right click option on your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, but you still like to right click, uh, and you have that trackpad, that touchpad on your Chromebook, which most of our school's Chromebooks have, you're going to use two fingers on the trackpad to click. So when you use one finger and click, that's just a normal left click like on a mouse. If you use two fingers and click, that's going to be like a right click. So when I do that, I'm going to see my submenu option and I can select copy. And then I can go down to my Google Drive again. I can go to my drive and I can either use control V to paste or I can use the two fingers on my trackpad to simulate a right click and then I can choose paste. Since I already dragged that into my folder, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Okay, so what is going to happen when you put that into your Google Drive is the Chromebook is going to sync that to your online Google Drive. So let's hop online to find that. So I'm going to open a browser here and then I'm going to go over to my Google Drive. And once I load that up, I should see the video file already there because the Chromebook already started syncing it. Now the one thing to keep in mind uh, about this video format is even Google itself is going to need some time to process it before you can view it in a browser. So if I go ahead and click on this or double click on it to try and open it, I'm going to get this message that says, hey, we're still processing this video, please check back later. So if you want people to have instant access to this video, uh, this is probably not going to be the best um, mode of delivery. This is something that you want to use if you have some time for Google to prepare it. So if this is something that, for example, your students are going to view in the morning, you probably want to prepare this the previous day. Uh, it shouldn't take all that much time, but it's really no guarantee on how much time exactly it is going to take. All right, so we can come back to that later. Now once it's in your Google Drive, you can now treat it like any other file. You can share it to Google Classroom, you could uh, share it and make it viewable on the web and, and send that link to different places. If you're sharing it via a link or via any Google products such as Google Classroom, uh, that's probably the safest way to do it because what you're going to be doing is having people come back to the file in the browser. And what that's going to do is allow people to view the file after Google has processed it. Now you are going to run into a situation where there's going to be some user somewhere that seems to be having some difficulty viewing that file. So the tip that I would have to give to them, if anybody comes to you and says, hey, I can't view that file or it's just all black or something of that nature, what you want to do is have them download and install a, an application called VLC Media Player. It's a great little application that is used to view all sorts of video applications or files and, uh, and formats and audio formats as well. And it's a free download and it comes on a number of platforms, Mac, uh, Linux, Windows, pretty much everything that you can think of it can run on. So if anybody has any difficulty with that file and it can happen, I would send them to this link. It's videoland.org videoland.org and they can download and install that and that will solve a lot of their troubles viewing a lot of different file formats. Now it's possible in the future that on your Chromebook after an update Google may change the file format that's used for those videos but you never know. But even so this is a really great tool to give to other people just in case they have that same problem. All right, so that gives you a little overview of how to record a video on your Chromebook, get it into your Google Drive, and then once you have it there, you can really share it however you wish, however it best meets your goals. I hope that gave you enough to be able to record and share your own videos.